Marcus, check this out. Somebody just sent me some cool stuff. Woody's. Look at this. It's Woody's cool. are 60 year old magazines. Who keeps them? Collectors. If you look at this, this is beautiful town and country, late 40s. And this car was probably three grand. <laughs> Now it's worth probably a buck, a buck and a quarter. But that's real wood, right? Yeah. That's real nice. Wood. That's a nice car. Then you get in the 70s and you get these ones with the vinyl wrap. These are very popular now. How can any of this stuff be popular? It was popular. Do you remember the vacation series with Chevy Chase when he drove all over the country in one of these? Everybody, when we were kids, we all took trips in wagons. And now they're coming up strong. Now people want them because they grew up seeing them. I don't understand how people like fake wood, but okay. So you want me to start looking for uh, fake wood cars? I'd like you to find me five or 10 of these, yeah. Okay, and I'll get some uh, vinyl wrapping for your Phantom. You leave my Phantom alone, brother. <laughs> Just get me some wagons. I'm excited. My buddy Willie's coming over. He's in the used car business and he just took in a Jag convertible. I do really well with them. And if it's what he said it is, it's mine. I can flip that car, make three to five grand without doing a thing. Condition is key in a car like this. Hey, Willie, what's up, bro? How you doing, Ted? One of the things you like. Come on. Everything good? Good. Today, I'm bringing over a 2006 Jaguar XKR. It's a supercharged edition, special edition car. I've done many, many deals with Ted. Ted doesn't like simple cars. He likes uh, special editions, you know, uh, iconic cars. Today, my target price for this Jaguar, I'm hoping to get around 16,500. I know you like these kind of cars. I do. Pretty decent, pretty clean. 06. 06, yes. Last year they made this model. Nice colors. It's nice. It's got the top cover and everything. Navigation system. I'm in the classic car business. I don't normally buy cars like that, but I'll buy a Bentley convertible, I'll buy a Jag convertible, buy a nice Benz convertible, because there's always someone for them. And they trade real well and real high. How's the training? Training is great. Shifts nice smoothly. So there's no stories here. The transmissions are German. And when they break, they cost a lot of money to fix. And he said it was fine. That's enough for me. I bought a lot of cars from him. He's never lied to me. It's a supercharger engine, real nice. Real powerful. Now you know we're in the same business. So I know. give me a number. Well, Ted, I'm inspecting for the car. I want like 16.5 for the car. When I asked him how much he wanted, he hit me at 16.5. That's retail. He's got to know I'm not a retail buyer, but maybe he thought I wasn't paying attention and I would pay that. I can't blame him. Ted didn't look too pleased about my first number. Let's see what we could do. We always negotiate. Well, we'll be happy today with around 12.5 to 13,000. That's my bottom price. I don't know what's going to happen. So let's see what he says. That's my price, you know? Come on. Come on, hurry up. It's I'm raining. Re man. All right, good. <laughs> I'll hurry up. It's raining. You're give me, right. Give me a good my, number. My hair should grow. Yeah. 12 grand cash money right now. Oh, dude. man. Hit it up a little bit higher, man. Come on. Come on. Do something better for me. Come on, from 16.5 to 12. Look at this. Look at this damaged wheel. You know, that's little details about used cars. It's a used car. It's All not right. a brand new car. And I buy a lot of cars from you. <laughs> yes, 12 you and a half make you laugh. 13. No. 12 13. And a half. Do 13. I know you can. 13. I grant $500 more will You're kill you. Hurting my hand. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Come on. $500 will get out of rain. It's raining. Come on. Check on it. Do it, man. 12, 5. 13. $500 more. We got out of the rain. OK? 13, let's 13, do it. Let's do it. Let's on. do it. We're done. My hair starting to grow? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the deal that we did. You know, that was the numbers I was expecting. I got a little bit wet, but it's as a business. So we're both happy. He's happy. We shake hands like we always do. I think that the car would have been mine for 12.5 had the rain not come. My hair was getting in my eyes. That was a mess. The XKR is a really expensive car, and I'm really thrilled to get it for 13 grand. And it's beautiful. Well, I'm good. No problem. I make three, four grand on the car. I got to do nothing. Hey, big boy, what you got for me? Woody. Ooh, 57 Country Squire. Now that, you're doing something. I love it. If you I, can get that, get it. I still prefer the original, but okay. You know, 50, yeah, it's not 51. real wood. You're right. It's not a 50, 51. That's when it stopped. That's fine for what it is. For that 57, you should buy that car in the 15 range. It should do 20 or 25 back. You don't want to pay more than 15, 16 for that car. Pretty car. All right. Now, if it was the Woody with real wood, it would be two, three times that. And this one? Okay. 
Now there's your mid-60s Caprice. Real popular, beast to drive. All vinyl? Yep. So what am I supposed to do with the wood fitted out on this one? Paint it? You can either paint it or buy a kit. What do you consider you can purchase this car for? I think you should buy that car for three to five grand. I don't think it'll do from eight to 12 back. That's a funny car. That's the end of the Woodies. That's an AMC Pacer, which we like to call Goldfish Bowl because it had so much glass all around it. Uh, not an easy car to sell. I wouldn't want to pay more than 3,500 for one of those. Now there's a big Chevy wagon. Very popular cars, easy to sell, easy to buy. Parts are all available, no problem. You should buy that car for five to eight grand, probably sell it for 12. Now this looks a little faded, so. Just buy the kit for that? Yeah, the kit's available. Just buy me five or 10 of these wheels. I'm ready in that process, don't worry about it. What car are you driving home tonight? My Rolls. You can't drive the Rolls, it's being worked on. Marcus, don't wrap my car in wood. Don't play with me. Lucy, I gotta tell you, place looks wonderful. It does, you, doesn't it? Yeah, you and Marcus knocked it out of the park. We did, and I'm glad you like all the cars and 57 everything. Chevy. Yeah, and I like on it. the Ford here, yeah, which is yeah, fabulous, yeah. and the tables, everything looks great. Where is the uh, guest of honor? Now, just before you know, you see the car, it's not exactly what you wanted, but it's a beautiful car. And there's a Woody. It's a Woody with and all, all of the wood. Of the wood. Beautiful, yes. okay. That's a gorgeous car. And what did you pay for it? 25,000. 25,000 isn't bad for it's not bad a Woody. At all. No, not for bad any at all. Woody that's decent, it's worth the money. Not bad at all. I'm yeah. happy. And it runs yeah. good? Runs perfectly well. Great condition, everything. You're going to love it. I'm excited. When do I see it? He's gone to get it. I think he's coming round now. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look. You're nuts. What are you kidding me? Marcus, he doesn't like the car. Are you kidding me, Marcus? Don't play with me. I mean, this look. is a thousand dollar, two thousand dollar car. I am not going to accept the guys, 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 guys. Be positive. Just look. I'm positively angry. Just no, look just turn behind. around. <laughs> Got you. Very funny. <laughs> That's Very funny. Brilliant. Now look at this. Ah, uh, this is a car. It's beautiful. This is a tin this Woody. This is it. I told you. It's beautiful. I told you. Why did you do this to me? So the joke went really, really well. His face was just of sheer shock. He really believed that we'd bought that car. So when he actually saw the real Tin Woody that we bought, he was very, very happy. Loves it. I knew he would, and that's why I wanted to play the prank on him a little bit, because he winds us up on a daily basis. He's grumpy, he's miserable. So for the first time, we decided to make fun out of him, and it definitely worked. We had Ted going for a while. The car came up right in the right time. Everything worked out perfect. And, uh, you know, that happens when you tell jokes. Sooner or later, somebody gets you back. You know, I really fell for it hook, line, and sinker. I didn't think Lucy would do that. I knew Marcus would, but I didn't think Lucy would.